Hey everyone, this is Adam and today I'm going to be showing you how to add Lottie file animations into your Figma banner designs and then export those out to HTML, uh, GIF and video banners directly from Figma. And to get started, we're just going to install a plugin called Bannerify. So if you search in the Figma community for Bannerify, so that's B-A-N-N-E-R-I-F-Y and under the plugins tab, you'll see Bannerify pop up and all you need to do is click on the install button on the right hand side and then you'll be ready to go. So I'm just going to jump back into my Figma file and I've gone a bit meta today and I've designed a really simple uh, Lottie files banner. So uh, we're going to be adding Lottie file animations into this banner and we're going to be, I guess, advertising the Lottie files brand or service uh, in our banner design as well. So this is really simple. I've just got two frames set up uh, each with uh, four different layers. So I've got a logo layer, text layer, uh, a placeholder layer and a button layer. And all we need to do is right click anywhere, go down to plugins and click on Bannerify. And that's going to load up the plugin that we just installed a moment ago. So once it loads up, you just select which frames you want to load in. So I've only got two uh, parent level frames. So those are the ones that are coming up. I'm just going to go ahead and load both of those in. So I'm going to click on load selected banners. And that's just going to load up all the layers that we can see on the left hand side here. And if you go through uh, the animation, you can see that I've already got a few really simple fade in animations set on those four layers and they're just slightly staggered uh, and they've got a speed of one second each. So you can see them coming in uh, pretty smoothly just like that. So we can play through that and you can see how that works. Uh, if you're new to the plugin, there's a separate tutorial on how to animate and uh, design your banners. Today I'm really just going to be focusing on adding uh, the new Lottie file integration into your banners as well. So with that said, uh, let's get started. And to add a Lottie file to any of your Figma layers, all you need to do is basically add a placeholder layer where you want a Lottie animation to go. So in my case, I've just added these two uh, rectangle layers. That's why they're kind of gray and boring. And I've just labeled them as Lottie animation placeholders so I know what they are. And then all we need to do is just go to the settings icon. So you can see there's a settings cog icon on that layer, on all the layers, but I'm going to click on the Lottie animation placeholder settings icon. I'm going to click on that. And you can see down here at the bottom, we've got a little uh, embed logo or import logo and a text area. So this text area is where we're going to paste our Lottie file link. So this is going to be a link to a Lottie JSON file. And this can either be on your own server or your own location, but more commonly, you're probably going to be uploading it to the Lottie files website or getting a pre-existing animation from there. So to do that, we just need to go to lottiefiles.com. And if you just make a free account, you can do that really quickly. Um, and that will allow you to browse their animations. So if we just go to discover and go to free animations, and you can uh, search by different categories and things like that, or just search for a specific animation. This is just the list of featured animations that you'll see. Um, so we've got all of these available to us and to insert one of these into Bannerify, into Figma, we just click on the animation that we want to add. And then you'll see there's a little uh, box down here called Lottie animation URL. So we want to grab that by clicking on this little copy icon. That's going to copy the URL. And then I'm going to jump back into Figma and in our text box here, I'm now just going to paste that URL that we copied from Lottie files. So I'm going to paste that in and you can see there it's got a um, JSON file at the end. So you definitely want to make sure it's got that. And then I'm going to set it to loop. So by default, it just will loop the animation. You can turn that off if you want, but I'm just going to loop it for now. Then I'm just going to click back into my timeline and you can see here, we've now got a Lottie animation uh, in our layers. So if we play that, so we will play that from the start and you can see there it's playing the Lottie file animation uh, the same way that we had seen it on the website from Lottie files as well. So that's what that looks like. Um, as, as I said, you can kind of uh, scroll through that and see what the animation is going to look like. Um, but you can notice as well, it's also applying the Bannerify animation to that layer. So for example, if we were to change the fade in animation to a scale in animation, for example, and we changed that and then we kind of scaled that down. Uh, you can see here that it's it's not only playing the Lottie animation as an embed, 
but it's also applying our Bannerify transitions. So we can transition in and transition out uh, different Lottie files and that'll apply the animation uh, to the actual layer as well. So that's kind of scaling it in. We can apply an exit animation. So if we wanna uh, scale it out, we can do that too. So we can just drag that up there and this will scale it out as well. So if we now play that, it's gonna go away. Um, and we can also add more animations as well. So if we wanted to have multiple steps in this banner, all we need to do is just create a new placeholder frame. So for example, I'm just gonna add uh, another one. I'll pop that into our uh, original banner, the one that we were just working on. So I'm just gonna drop that in there. So we can call this one Lottie Placeholder 2. And I'm just gonna drop that into my banner there. And then, so we can just now grab another random uh, Lottie animation to show off. Uh, so we can do, let's see, maybe just a kind of silly one. So we've got this uh, bodybuilding dancer. So we'll grab that, copy the URL again. And I'm just gonna refresh my layers just by clicking on this little refresh button in the timeline. And under my Lottie animation placeholder two layer, I'm gonna click on the settings icon for that and I'm just gonna paste that Lottie file JSON in there and load that up. And I'm just gonna make this come in after our other animations already gone out. So if I just position that over here and we'll kind of scale that in, we may as well do the same animation, we'll scale that in. Um, so we'll scale that one in. And if we play that now, so we'll play it through, you can see the first Lottie animation scales in and out and now the second one's in there as well. So that's looking really good. I think um, that would make for a very nice uh, animation advertising the Lottie Files uh, service using Lottie File animations. I think that's cool. So that's basically what it looks like. And then if we wanna go ahead and export that, we just do it the same way that you always do in the Bannerify plugin. And that's by going to the export to HTML uh, button so I'm not going to export the second one because I haven't really done much work on that. That's just a smaller version that I had set up. Um, but I'm just going to export this one for now. I'm going to click on export to HTML. I'm going to uh, infinitely loop all the banners and I'm just going to save it as HTML and CSS. You can obviously save it to other platforms. So you've got um, double click, double click studio, Google ads, all that kind of good stuff if you're using a certain platform, but today I'm just gonna to be doing HTML, CSS, uh, very standard. And I'm just gonna click that uh, export banner. So I'm gonna click that button. And that's just exported our banner to HTML. So I'm gonna click download the zip file. I'm just gonna save that to my desktop. And if I go ahead and unzip that, so I'm just gonna double click on the zip file, double click on the exported uh, folder and then if I grab this index file and drop it into my browser, oops, one second, I'll do that again. Um, okay. There we go. So this is the HTML export. So this is uh, basically the production ready code that you wanna add to your website or up upload to a different platform, like a Google ads, um, if you exported it for that. Um, but yeah, that's what it looks like. It's uh, really nice, uh, really smooth, as you'd expect. And that's what that looks like there. Um, the other thing we can do is also export it out to other formats too. So if we wanted to export it to uh, a GIF or a, a WebM or a MP4 file, we can do that as well. So we just click on the uh, export to GIF or video button. Then we can click on the format that we want. And again, this will export it out uh, to that format too. So we're exporting it out to a video now and I'm just gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna click on download your zip file, save it to the desktop. Uh, I'm gonna unzip that file. And then if we open that back up, um, and then we, if we open that back up, so I'm just gonna click on the HTML file. And there we go, we've got our video so you can see if I show the controls um, that's just a video playing now so we can kind of go through that as you expect um, and these can be really handy if you're creating ads for social media so if you're creating 
uh, Facebook ads or Instagram ads, these video exports can be really handy uh, as well. So the Lottie files are supported in that. Uh, the only thing to note is that in the video exports, at the moment, some of the different masking effects that some of the more advanced Lottie files use uh, have some problems in the video side of things. So hopefully that gets resolved in a future version of the Lottie player. But at the moment, sometimes you will get some issues if it's a really complex uh, masking situation or uh, things like that it can sometimes be a bit strange in the video exports. So something to keep in mind for now, but the HTML exports will always look really nice just like this. Um, so that's basically it. Um, the other thing you can do if you want to apply a Lottie animation to multiple layers. So if you've got multiple uh, Lottie animations that you want to add to different banners, you can do that in one go just by clicking on the layers that you want to apply the Lottie animation to. So if we click on Lottie animation placeholder 2 and Lottie animation placeholder 2, and if you want to apply the same Lottie animation to those two in one go, um, all you need to do is go down to the uh, media embed section down here, paste in a Lottie file URL. So I'm just going to grab the one that we had up here and I'm going to apply that by pasting it down here. And you can select again if you want it to loop or not. I'm just going to leave it to loop. And then I'm just going to click on apply embed. And that's basically going to apply that Lottie animation into uh, the layers that you've selected. Um, so for example, uh, this one here doesn't actually have one uh, yet on the Lottie animation placeholder layer. So I can grab uh, the other one from there that I had before. So I'm going to copy that one too paste that onto the layer and then I can basically copy and paste the animations as well. So if I want to copy and paste my animation from the first Lottie file down to here, I can do that just by clicking copy and paste and same thing for this layer too. So I'm going to copy that one and I'm going to paste it on the Lottie animation placeholder too. And now if I play that back, you can see that we've got our animations the same from the first banner with the exact same timing and uh, that's just taken away a whole bunch of effort to have to duplicate those um, animations so again you can just go through if you've got a bunch of banners and you want to do this really quickly you can actually just go up to here to the quick select layers selection click on the layer name that you want so as long as the layer names are named the same you can quickly do it from here just click on the layer that you want and it will select that layer across all of your banners and then you can again apply that Lottie animation or animations uh, in bulk or batches in one go. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, as I said, it's very simple. You just jump into your settings panel, paste in the Lottie animation, and as long as it's a valid uh, Lottie animation. Again, you can upload these yourself. So if you create your own animation with After Effects, for example, uh, you can just go to the lottiefiles.com slash preview URL, which gets linked to from the banner, uh, Bannerify plugin. And if you've got a local Lottie file that you already want to use, you can just browse for that, upload it to here, and then you'll get the URL that you can copy directly into the plugin and use your own Lottie animations as well. Um, so that'll do it for today. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you've been wondering how to add uh, Lottie animations into Figma or into your Figma banners, and then export those out to production-ready HTML or production-ready uh, MP4s and GIFs. Uh, this is probably the quickest way to do it using the Bannerify plugin. And uh, yeah, I hope that you have a good time with it. If you want to have a uh, bit of an experimentation with your team or with your own banner sets, now that you've got this uh, added flexibility for more complex animations, uh, hopefully it's going to unlock uh, a lot of creativity for you and your team going forward. So. Um, as always, thank you for watching and we'll be back soon with more Figma tutorials just like this one very soon.